and welcome to my channel my name is jasmine i'm so glad you're here i was inspired by another channel that did a similar base but i wanted a base that was a little bit taller so what i did was i purchased the board from dollar tree that the size is about 30 inches tall so i wanted to make sure that all the mirrors fit there and even though getting three mirrors there was still a little gap so that's why the blank was perfect to put in between and I really like how it looks. I love that once you have something with bling and mirrors, it truly makes the room so much brighter and so much better. So you could just go ahead and be creative and put this in any room and yet it's so affordable. This is why I love DIY. So a little bit less than $15 is how I was able to make this since I already have some of those items. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I did this. So let's go ahead and get started. Since I have some of the items, I believe my total came out to $15 or so a little bit of less. Uh, you do need some mirror. In this case, I needed a 12 because you're going to be putting three on each side. So you're going to be creating four different sides. You do need two boards because they are 30 inch. And since the mirror is a little bit wide, uh, I did need it too. And in addition, you do want to create a border on the bottom, which is going to be the foundation. It's a little bit different size. You do need the crushed glass. That's optional if you guys want to include that on the border, the mesh. Uh, I did have some flowers. I purchased extra ones, but as you see, the ones in the pictures are some uh, hydrangea, which I really like that flower. And everything else you need um, is provided below as well. So let's go ahead and get started. What we're going to do, I'm going to show you guys step by step what you did need to do so in this case we're going to be taking the board and we're going to be putting all the mirrors all together like i mentioned i wanted to have the same length that the board comes in and as you see it's 30 inches long and i try to create some gaps in between so now for step two uh, what you're going to do is go ahead and cut and my husband was the one who was cutting the board and he was uh, trying to cut it precise taking his time uh, to make sure that it was even and none of the uh, particles that are in between was coming off so go ahead once you have traced the mirror uh, we used we traced the mirror we used a sharpie since the board that we purchased was black and the sharpie uh, did um, show the line as well so we didn't have any problems with that so once you lined it up um but if you just want to go ahead and line up the mirrors all together without the mesh in between then you know it's going to be less than 30 inches long so once we cut the third step is we're going to cut the mesh and we're going to align it this is where we know exactly how many blinks we need on each um in between each mirror so i noticed that i needed three lines of the mesh and in the top, I still had a little bit over. So what I did was since I had a little bit over, I go ahead and I, that's where I apply my crushed, uh, my um, glass, crushed glass. And here is the bottom part that was cut as well. So now that we have everything cut and we have everything set up, now I'm going to start gluing not just the mesh, as you see it's three lines, um, but we're also going to be gluing the mesh and the mirror. For the mirror, I did use the E6000 and for the mesh, I just used a little bit of the hot glue. And since I didn't want to touch it because it could be a little bit of, uh, it could be hot, uh, I just used the top of the uh, glue, the hot glue machine. So here you see, once we have applied a little bit of the E6000, we are applying some of the hot glue on the board and then we are applying that mirror right on top. Uh, so we, what we did was we glued one border, one line, the mesh, then we glued the mirror, we glued another mesh and another one, the mirror, until we continue for each side. Now that everything is completed and glue and hot glue, we're gonna wait for the glue to dry. You wanna make sure that it does dry before you putting them together um, so that way once I apply the crushed glass everything is, is dried and nothing comes off so that's the fifth step the fifth step is optional instead of just adding the crushed glass you could just go ahead and add maybe two more rows or three more rows of the bling but I wanted to add a different type of bling to it so I'm going to be using Mod Podge and I'm going to be applying uh, in this case you should be you should apply a little bit more because if the more you apply it I feel like the more it does stick to it and as you see we really need that much to apply there so then once I apply the mod, the mod podge right away I started adding some of that crushed glass 
and you're just gonna go ahead and dab it tap on top of it but just be very careful because it could some of that could be a little bit too rough or it could cut you a little bit so i just go ahead and just want to make sure that it is synced in and once it set for a few minutes i go ahead and i flip it around to make sure that any excess crushed glass was removed so that way it dries completely once it dries we're going to repeat this step and this step is you want to make sure that there's no other um crushed glass right on top so you're going to go ahead and apply more mod podge on top this is going to help secure the crushed glass that's already glued in the first layer but at the same time it's, a, it's applying a new type of glue which is the mod podge for you to apply another coat since this um, board is black you can still see through and I wanted to make sure that it was completely covered. So you're going to go ahead on the sixth step. You're just going to go ahead and repeat. Uh, so this is just an option if you guys wanted to add the crushed glass. But in this case, um, I feel like it gave it a really nice look with the blink mesh. So go ahead and add a lot more. Dab it in to make sure that all those black spots are completely covered. And that's going to help that more of the crushed glass that is applied on top is going to be fully coated. Uh, so once that is done then go ahead and apply more of the crushed glass and what you you could continue doing this maybe another time if you like to it depends how it looks for you um, but well once this was completed and i did this step once again and any excess i removed them once it was dried and set i applied another coat just of the mod podge just to make sure that everything was sealed together so once i put all the pieces together none of the glass was coming off so now the seventh step, you want to make sure that everything is set, uh, everything is drying, and you could just go ahead and put all the pieces together. We put two different types of, of wood just to make sure that it holds pretty well once we put the glue and it dries uh, even. So we go ahead and I put, we put Mod Podge on the white spot because that's where we're going to be putting the other part. And as you see, we did the L um, and then now we are... Uh, gluing the other part so we did this on both sides of the white part so that means on each corner we put the e6000 which that's going to help glue it together and then we put the hot glue right on top and we noticed that it did dry quickly thanks to the hot glue and we were able to work on the other side but we let it sit for a few minutes before we continue flipping it around so once that's said we I looked around on every single side to make sure I lifted up a little bit and I see if there was any a little gap then I used the, the hot glue gun and I applied a little bit of the glue just to make sure that every section every corner was completely sealed I let it rest overnight since we did this at night and then in the morning we made it we finished our step which is the eighth step we measure cut and glue so we took some of that mesh and as you see each corner is showing that board which is that white section and uh, we were able to cover that with some of the me uh, mesh bling and as you see, we just needed to cut two rows on each section. And what we did was measure from one mirror to the other. And we just cut every single one of them. So once with the hot glue was set, we were able to apply the mesh on each corner just to cover the white section. And you will see uh, how much better it looks even with the bling on the border. So I really like how it came out we're able to put this in different areas and i like how it brings so much lightness to the room so guys i wanted to give you a thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this diy and i really like how this came together and the fun thing is that you could just go ahead and change the flowers and it completely changes the look so thank you guys so much for watching this video and until the next video bye